Hi stampers, my name is Sandy Hancock and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator coming to you from Southern California. This is a card that I'm going to show you made out of the Magnolia Mood. In fact, I'm going to show you two cards made out of the Magnolia Mood. So I have a friend, Carol. I call her the other half of my brain when it comes to stamping. So she sent me a picture that had the three layers, it wasn't embossed, and the gold beautiful flower on it from Magnolia Mood. Um, and so then I thought, hmm, I wonder if I want to add something to that. And so I'll show you what I did. So this is the piece that cuts out, you know, and if you rub wax paper on this and then go through your cutter machine several times, it just really pops right out. So anyway, it's a beautiful die. All right, so let's get started. I have my black cardstock and I'm going to use my bone folder get that nice and scored. I'm going to leave this up here, I think, so you can see see it. Okay, then I'm going to add my gold layer. And this is just your ordinary layer. It's five and a quarter by four. So we'll add the gold. This is just the gold foil that's in the catalog. You know, I think I'm going to go the other way. Okie dokie. Yeah, this Magnolia Mood is so beautiful. Oh my word, my mom used to love magnolias. Okay, then I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna work with the happy birthday with this layer. Now this layer is five inches this way by three and three quarters, so five by three and three quarters. And what we wanna do is add the happy birthday. This is gonna be embossed. So we need the Versamark pad <clears throat> to do that. Oh, okay, Versamark pad. Happy birthday. So we're just gonna kind of lay this on there. Oops, what's that? Okay, so we'll just kind of lay that on there and give us an idea of where we want the happy birthday to be. And then we're gonna pray that we can get it straight. It actually looks pretty good. All right, then I'm just gonna Oh, I, oh my word, I forgot to use the embossing buddy. Well, okay, hopefully. You know what? I'm going to turn it over and use the embossing buddy first. I don't know if we carry this anymore in the catalog, but it just keeps the excess um, embossing powder from sticking. And I don't want to go to all this trouble and then have it stuck, extra stuck that I don't like. So let's try it again. You can just stamp right over it. Okay, hopefully that is good. Okay, then I'm gonna take, what did I do with the lid to that? Here it is. Okay, so now I'm gonna just take some gold embossing powder, put it over this. Okay, that looks good. And then we'll just heat it up and you'll see that uh, as the heat melts the powder down into the Versamark. It just really stands out and is so gorgeous. It's better if you hold it in one place. Don't keep moving it around like that. Just hold it, see, there it goes. It's just like magic. I'm sure most of you have been embossing for years, but just in case you haven't, it's very, very easy. I used to use the bottom of an iron. Did you guys ever do that? Yep, I used the bottom of an iron and tried to emboss. That was before I got the heat gun. And I don't know, people have done all kinds of things. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take a cloth if I can find it and just rub off this excess. There we go. Wowie zowie. Okay, so now I wanna, put the painted texture embossing folder on this because I want it, I don't want it to be quite so plain. So give me a second, I'm just gonna walk over and run this through my machine and you'll hear that I have an electric one because it's much easier on my back. Alrighty, that was simple. 
Okay, so now, oh my word, look how beautiful that is. Okay, just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so now we're gonna add, whoops, hello. Okay, we're gonna, oh, you ever just throw things around? Okay, things disappear, things get put under other things. Okay, now when you emboss and have this much embossing uh, texture, I like to put quite a bit of adhesive on it. Okay, so I'm gonna add this. Then we're just going to add, so really when you think about it, this is a pretty easy and fast card. This, by the way, if you haven't ever used it before, it's called Dotto. The company used to sell it, and I absolutely love it, so I couldn't give it up. Okay, I see one little tiny piece here that we don't need. Okay, wowie, oh my word, is that not gorgeous? Okay, and then we're going to use adhesive-backed sparkle gems. They come in black, gold, and I guess that's kind of silver. It's more of a white almost, but I think it could be silver. So I don't know if this will work, but we'll see. Yes, it does, okay. So let's put one here. Let's see if we can get one here. And then I think we'll stick one down here. Okay, so that was pretty easy, right? Now let's just do something special for the inside. <clears throat> so inside, I'm gonna use this, a saying from, uh, it's called Layering Leaves, and it is in the catalog. Again, I'm so happy about that. This is Rachel Tessman's um, million dollar set. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put so happy to celebrate you. There, we're gonna emboss it. Okay, where'd my little magnolia? And then we're gonna take the magnolia. There's a little magnolia stamp. We're gonna put it in the corner like that. Get my paper out again. I used to have a little black holder that would hold my embossing powder. And okay, what did I do with my embossing powder? Seriously? Oh, here it is. Oh, and I cannot find it. Ever since I moved, I just can't find it. So, anyway, oops, come on, so I need you to get embossing, oh gosh, I touched that. Hmm, well, <laughs> see, I didn't use the embossing buddy again. Okay, that can be frustrating. Okay, let's see if we can get a little more on the H. Oh, uh, yep. I wonder if a little bit more would stick there. Okay, I'm almost happy. See, you don't have to do this if you remember to use the embossing, buddy. It'll just come right off. <laughs> okay, I think that might work. So let's just... Not put away again. Bring out our heat tool. And we'll just leave it flat. <clears throat> Hold it in one place. Don't wave it around. Of course, this always wrinkles up the cardstock a little bit. But there's not a whole lot we can do about that. Wow. You know, I've been doing this for years and it feels... It still just feels like magic every time I do it. Okay, so here's gonna be the inside. So happy to celebrate you with a really pretty magnolia. Now this, we're gonna to try to get the wrinkles out of. So I'm gonna be very generous with the adhesive. Okay, let's, oh, this is mine, okay. All right, I'd be very happy to get this card. And I, you know, I thought I might do it in silver too, but let me show you the silver. It's not quite as spectacular. Uh, it's not quite as spectacular as the gold. So I don't know if I'm gonna make a silver one or not. Okay, so happy birthday. 
So happy to celebrate you. Isn't that gorgeous? And really, you have to say, it's pretty simple. As long as you have the, if you don't have the painted texture embossing folder, then maybe you have one that you like. Uh, that's just, I think you just need a little bit of texture, not a lot. Okay, so there's card number one. Oh, I forgot to tell you, after I show you this second card, I'm also going to show you 10 of my trades that I got in Houston. There's some really, really pretty trades. Okay, now this uh, design is also very simple, and I can't claim it to be my own. I saw it with, I think it was Stamps and Lingers. And, um, oh, I didn't pull out my pens. Uh, or did I? Yes, I did. Okay. And she had some pink ribbon, petal pink ribbon put behind hers, but I didn't have the ribbon, so I just left it plain, and I think it's still very, very pretty. Okay, so here we go. And I'm using the thick. I've gotten to where I just love the thick cardstock. Uh, it just makes the card, I think, feel a little more valuable. Okay, that could just be me. But anyway. Okay, now, I'm using the same, this is the same die, just in white. Oh, look at that. I, I'll have to get that out. Okay, so, and this time we're going to use, oh, just rub off the, Versa mark. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're going to use again. Oh, first I think I'm going to put happy birthday on there. Let's do that. Okay, I just got the ink off of it. And what did I do with it? Here it is. Okay, so we're going to use black ink. And we are going to get this straight, I'm sure. Pretty close. Okay, there's the happy birthday. All right, then we're going to put on this white. We're not going to do anything to the white, except just put it on. And then when we get to the other, oops, I keep moving here. Then I'm going to do some coloring, as you can see. So this is going to go at an angle about like that. Pretty easy. Okay, now set this aside we've got our magnolia and the magnolia is cut out with this die <clears throat> okay so much plainer because all of the design is in the stamp itself okay so I'm going to use petal pink and I'm just going to take the light no I actually got some new petal pink markers I, I don't use a lot of petal pink, but I guess over time I've used it because it was just about dead. And uh, so in my last order, I was so happy. So we're just going where the artist is going. The artist is giving us all kinds of clues as to where to put the highlights and I'm just following the artist. So you don't have to <clears throat> really know how to shade if you just Follow the artist, you'll be in good shape. Okay, then we're gonna take the dark sea foam. Soft sea foam is actually what it's called. And we're gonna take the, the nub end and just kind of go down the vein. Uh, oops, I forgot to color that flower. Hello, all right, we'll go back. Going down the big vein. Hmm. Okay, then I'm going to take the light and just go back and fill it in. I'm not sure this is my best cutting job when I cut this one out. Oh well, you get the idea. And I think Carol told me that the inside is green. I'm pretty sure she's so good about knowing about plants, etc., what color things are. And we'll just put some highlights here. I mean, you just can't get much more simple than this and absolutely elegant. So thank you, Stamps and Linger. Okay, I think we're good. So we're just, and I'm not even gonna put this on dimensionals because I don't think it needs it. <clears throat> I'm just gonna add this this way. 
And then inside, I just put the little magnolia again. I was hoping maybe with the thick cardstock it wouldn't come through, but it's, it comes through less, but it still comes through. So there you go. Aren't these two beautiful, simple cards with the magnolia mood? So this is an online set, so you need to go online <clears throat> to find it. Of course, I could have copied the numbers down for you, and I forgot. I'm so sorry. Okay, um, now I wanted to show you uh, about 10 of the trades that I got. Okay, this is the Meandering Meadows paper. It's They still have plenty of it in stock. And I forgot to write down the name of the set. I mean the dyes. This is the um, Earthen Textures. <clears throat> Isn't this just beautiful? Oh my word, it's so, so pretty. Uh, this is Pretty Peacock. <clears throat> and this one is being retired. So if you want Earthen, uh, textures, you need to get it now. <clears throat> okay, this one is Everyday Details, and this card just kind of keeps going. So it opens so that you would be, you know, it would sit like this, and then it opens again. Oh, I forgot to tell you who made these cards. Okay, wishing you so much joy on this special day. I love that greeting. This one didn't have a name on it. This one didn't have a name, or did it? I don't think so. This one doesn't have a name. Okay. <clears throat> These next two, actually I have three made by Carol Nordquist, who I got to room with uh, at in Houston. So she did the magnolia and just colored on the magnolia itself with the pink and the soft, I don't know if that's, it looks like soft sea foam. So she used pink and pecan pie on this one. <clears throat> and then she did a purple, the same thing, purple and green. And then my favorite one, actually of any of the samples I've seen with earthen, um, uh, not earthen textures, uh, the painted lavender is this one. <clears throat> I just love it. There's some vellum on there that's covering the stamped green. So this is Carol Nordquist. Yeah, it's really beautiful. And then my friend Michelle Helene I uh, used the up in the air, <clears throat> and I just love this one. I love the, the way the two designer papers, actually three designer papers go together. Isn't that just so, so cute? <clears throat> and then, let's see, this is Michelle Hornback. Hornback. This is the coffee set. Yeah, really, really cute. The paper, coffee paper, and the ribbon. <clears throat> very, very cute. Here's another lavender uh, card, which is pretty with the panel down the center. And this one is by Linda Letcher. And then the last one, I this one's online, and I didn't look up the name of it. She doesn't have it down. Shelly, Shelby Ragsdale. But I just think it's so cute. But you can find this online, the, the soda pop can. And it's even got a little thing that you pull up to open the lid, and it's got the straw, it's got bubbles. Oh my goodness, it's so, so cute. <clears throat> so anyway, th those were fun. All right, so I'm gonna sign off. Thank you again for joining me to make these uh, two cards with the Magnolia Mood, and I hope you'll join me again, and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>